Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss about organochlorine poisoning. Now, organochlorine is a type of pesticide. There are four main types of pesticides. There's organophosphorus, organochlorine, carbamates, and pyrethroid. So out of these four, today I'm going to discuss organochlorine with you. So I'll be discussing about the introduction, examples of organochlorine, pesticide, the mode of action, and the fatal dose. So before starting the video, guys, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So, organochlorine pesticide. Organochlorine pesticides are chlorinated hydrocarbons. So this means that these pesticides are made up of hydrocarbon and they contain chlorine. So they are chlorinated hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons we know consist of hydrogen, chlorine and oxygen. Now, they are used, they were used extensively from the uh, 1940s through the 19 through the 1960s in agricultural for agricultural purposes and for mosquito control these organochloride pesticides were used organochlorines are known for the high persistent and toxic characteristics now they are very much toxic to the insect to the pest so they instantly kill the insect and they are hence they are also called pesticides uh, these pesticides cause neurological damage, endocrine disorders and have acute and chronic health effects. Now these effects are not just on the insect but also on humans. So if someone um, somehow takes organochlorine pesticide and uh, then the person is going to, then that is going to cause poisoning to that person and there are going to be uh, various problems like neurological damage is going to be there, there's going to be endocrine disorders and there's going to be other health effects. So there are different categories uh, in which organochlorines can be uh, divided. First is DDT and analogs. DDT is the most commonly known organochlorine pesticide. DDT's um, scientific name is dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane and another one that is another pesticide in this category is methoxychlor then comes benzene hexachloride group now uh, this these division of organochlorine pesticide is based on their um, structure all right so second is benzene hexachloride group in this comes benzene hexachloride and gamma hexachlorocyclohexane which is also known as lindane now guys it's very important to remember all these names by heart because these uh, are asked by uh, the question that comes from this topic in UGC net exam is from these uh, different examples of organochlorine pesticides only these names are very important so just learn them by heart then the third category is cyclodienes and related compound in the in this category comes aldrin dialdrin endosulfan also known as thiodan endrin isobenzan chlordane chlordicone also called kepone heptachlor and myrex also called dechlorane then fourth category is toxaphene and related compound in which toxaphene is included so these are the four different types of um, organochlorine pesticides on the basis of their structure then these are some of the um, examples along with the structures then if you talk about the mode of action then different types of different examples of organochlorine are going to have a different mode of action so uh, most of them they are absorbed transdermally orally and inhalation so either they can be um, absorbed transdermally that is through the skin or they can be absorbed orally like they can be taken orally through the mouth or they can be taken by inhalation through nose so if we talk about uh, gastrointestinal absorption then uh, it is very much efficient and uh, particularly in the presence of absorbable liquid uh, lipid fat if there's more amount of lipid fat in your body then the absorption of these pesticides is going to be more now the some of these pesticides might be absorbed trans uh, might be absorbed well transdermally some might not be like for example ddt is least uh, absorbed transdermally like through the skin whereas if you talk about dialrin that it then it is very much well absorbed through the transdermal method to the skin 
Now DDT affects the nervous system by interfering with normal nerve impulses. It causes the nerve cell to repeatedly generate impulses. Because of which what happens we get to see tremors in the animals or uh, in humans who are exposed to this DDT. So DDT mainly affects our nervous system and uh, repeated uh, impulse are created which leads to tremors. Then many of these compounds are metabolized slowly and they persist in the tissue for prolonged periods of time. Now um, since their metabolism, some of their metabolism is slow so, going, so they are going to get deposited in your body tissue especially the fatty tissues for prolonged time. Now talking about the fatal dose, dialgrin is placed in the extremely toxic category and it's and the lethal dose for that is 1 to 50 mg per kg and if you talk about DDT, endosulfan and lindane then they are considered highly toxic, a little le less toxic than dialgrin and uh, for all for these three the lethal dose is going to range from 51 to 500 mg per kg so this was all about organochlorine pesticide in my next video i'm going to talk about the other three types of uh, pesticides thank you for watching this video till the end guys please subscribe to my channel like this video comment if you have any problem and share it with your friends as much as you can thank you